my name is Veronica Arnbacher, and I am attending Amherst College. My name is Lydia Joseph, and I'm attending UMass Amherst. My name is Amy Bradshaw, and I'm a college student. Richard Aronson with Amherst College. with 
how they run the health center and the norms that they have for um, patients showing up late, or patients bringing children to their appointments, or how patients book their appointments in the first place. Um, our team learned of other strategies that healthcare centers have found helpful in increasing the no-show rates, um, some of them we actually mentioned. Um, for example, some healthcare facilities provide child care services within their clinics, Square Neighborhood Health Center in Mass is also working to decrease their no-show rates among patients. Um, a fundamental aspect of this center's patient care is its advisory board, which discusses any pertinent issues. This advisory board consists of representatives from each aspect of the health center, uh, which include patients, members of the community, and physicians or other personnel of the health center. Through our research, we observe the many benefits of Outreach. This work improves relations between the health center and the community, uh, increases compliance, and decreases no-show rates. The biggest purpose of community outreach is making the health center services known and community. We hope that this information has enlightened you in the ever-present issue of health disparities. The connections we have made have formed different doors and bridges that we hope to use in the future. We have faith that this mission will continue in the future and inform students as well as the population in Springfield and beyond. We know that without the help of the High Street Clinic, this project would not have been a reality in quite the same way. Furthermore, we would like to acknowledge the never-ending assistance from Mr. Aaron Goldman and the Springfield Institute, Dr. Richard Aronson, Josh Mayer and the Roosevelt Institute, and the numerous health centers and volunteers who took the time to speak with us.